this is our ultimate aim and that is to make a strawberry tub so off we go then so drill a hole that's a one inch hole as you can see draw that like so then we want to do that. How we're going to do that is like this. Like that. Okay, so I'm all ready to plant up. So to start with, remember I've got these little tiny holes in the bottom for drainage. Um, they're not right at the bottom, so I could get a bit of puddling in the bottom. And I'm going to put in there a bit of grit. This, is, this bath was, if you remember, I filled it with seaweed and let it rot down and I took the juice off and now I've got this lovely soil from it. So that's going in. I did grow potatoes in this last year, so hopefully it's, um, it's good stuff. And I'm going to add just a little bit of potting compost. Not a lot, just a bit. I've got this bit of tube with holes in that, so that I can water it through from the top. I'll put that in, push it down to the grip. There we go. And then put in range to up to the first holes. And then Remember these? You might not remember these, but these are my strawberry plants that I took off the runners. And, and I'm growing in these disused um, containers. And look at those lovely roots on there, look. Now, the beauty of doing it like this is that I can poke these through from this side and then these roots will find their way out just tease them off a bit and then there's got to be an easier way of doing it than this I'm not sure what it is but there's got to be yeah, maybe you might have some suggestions but there how's that? He looks happy, doesn't he? Then swish it around. Then we'll do another one. That one's a bit smaller, look. And this one was a... Um, oh, it's our probe milk. And once again, look at that lovely, lovely roots. Just tease them out a bit. 
Nehmen wir egal. Now these holes, they're actually they're inch and a quarter holes. That one was an inch hole, but they're actually inch and a quarter holes. Um, they could possibly do with slightly bigger. But there she blows. Uh, one down there, let's find a small one. And the beauty of this is, is if I set this up right, then I'm going to make it so that wood lice can't climb up. That's because it's wood lice that have been messing up my eating my strawberries before they're ready. <laughs> I'm going to leave that like it is now to settle, and then I'll complete it. I'll complete the other ones because what could happen is that I settled down and it may drag them back through. So I'm going to leave that like it is now, just to settle down for a week or two, and then I will complete, I'll complete the others. Okay, so I've left the, the ones I've already planted up. They were done four, probably four weeks ago. Um, and I've left them to settle down because sometimes as the soil settles down it draws the plant back into the into the pot even though in this case everything seems fine so I'm now going to top it up with this rotted compost with, so I'm going to make up the last couple of rows okay so um, I've left it for another I can't remember now was it a week or two weeks to settle down and now I'm going to put them put a couple around the top. Um, some of them have sunk back in a bit but I'm not that worried because I've got new growth coming on some of them and of course they were the ones grown in the in the uh, milk cartons and they had plenty of root on. The ones I'm going to put in the top I've dug them up from my um, from my big bed. So let's do them then. Ah, I've topped that up. If I put one in there, so they're between them roots. There. As you can see, these are, I'll take the big leaves off. There you go, and in you go. And that might want topping up with some cotton compost or something later on. And then I'm going to try something out. I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to do it. But I've managed to get hold of one of these big rings. And what I'm going to try and do is put that in there like that. And then I'm going to put something round there. Maybe a bit of a bucket lid or something around there. It's to stop wood lice from crawling up and rounding up. Because that is the biggest courage on our allotment is wood lice. They are, they are friendly if you want them to do your compost heaps, but they're not friendly when they eat your strawberries. So, we've got to decide what we're doing it for. The wood lice are for ourselves. As far as I'm concerned, me being selfish, I'm doing it for myself. <laughs> right, so there we go. That's all ready to go. I'm now going to put that somewhere nice and sunny. So, I've got a bucket lid. So, and that bucket lid fits like that and what I've done is I've cut that out and you hope that that'll fit nicely on there like that and then that gives us that rim that gives us a rim round there look that wood lice will crawl up they bump into that and hopefully they won't like going upside down <laughs> some hopes so let's see if we can put that on there then and see, see what we've got. Let's lift that off. Put that on. Centre it. Then, oh, Daisy. <laughs> that feels perfect. Well, hopefully, that's done the job. 
well pleased with that. So it's looking okay. Good job. Bye for now.